Hey guys, it's Kelsey here, and today I'm going to share with you another index card, um, mixed media, new product, style of card that I'm doing. And I just ran this index card through a new um, embossing folder that I just got. It was from Stampin' Up! And I think it's called Tiny Triangles. It's super cute, and I love triangles. I'm big into the triangle theme. Um, so I really just wanted to work with this. And it was brand new, so that's pretty much the only reason why I chose to work with it. And the index card did come out a little bit fragile, just because um, the index card's really thin, and when you put it through an embossing folder, um, obviously that kind of weakens it. So, um, but it still turned out all right, even though there's like a tiny little tear mark on one of the sides, but it's not really a big deal. Um, and then I just sprayed it with some of that bluegrass um, Studio Calico Mist, which I love that color. And I love all of the Mr. Hughes colors, so um, I definitely love Mist, and I go back and forth on using it a lot or just dabbling with it, so um, I just need to do more of it. So I got out my Versamark here, and I just kind of wanted the card to look a little splotchy, and I didn't really get the effect that I was going for. And this tag I just picked up, it was in the, like, the dollar spot at Target. Um... And it just came in a package, and there's some gold ones with, like, a chalkboard effect, too. So I just kind of wanted to use that because it was new as well. Um, but like I said, I didn't completely get the look that I was going for with the splotchy um, embossing powder. I don't know how I would have done it differently. You know, not like, too square because the way I rubbed the pad over the tag. But um, I still mostly like the way it turned out. I just wish it was easier to just get a little more splotchy and less square, or rectangular, I should say, but I just thought that it needed some, like, brightness or shininess, I didn't want to put just a craft tag on there, and it did curl and warp a little bit, but I'm trying to decide where to put it, and it's a little too long for what I want to do with it, so cut it off a little bit, because I really wanted that background to show up a little bit more. And then I've got some of this taxi color, and here I'm just dropping some mist. And it's kind of hard to see in the video. Um, I'll have a still picture over on my blog, so if you want to check that out, um, it's over on my blog at todaykelsey.blogspot.com. And there's always a link below in the um, about section, so if you ever want to just click over to my blog and see the pictures, there's a link right below. Um, but like I said, the yellow is very subtle, but it just kind of went with the green, and I really like the way that looked and it just needed a little something else um there's just a lot of white on the background and i have a problem with mist because i feel like there's always too much or not not enough <laughs> and i had just printed off um a bunch of just little phrases or quotes or ideas and i just printed them off on my computer and cut them out into little strips and i've been using those in my kind of index card mixed media type projects because I really, I like the idea of art surrounding a quote. It, for me, it feels like it's a way to kind of preserve that quote or to bring it to life if it's like a very specific quote. Um, so, yeah, I just really um, like using quotes lately, and I find them on the Internet, and I find them on Pinterest, and um, books, and whatnot. So. And I did put that on with liquid adhesive. I thought it would stick better than um, a glue runner, so... I don't really, I, that's just the only reason why I did it. And then some of these My Mind's Eye enamel dots, I just kind of put around the layout. And it was pretty simple. This card came together really, really fast. It was under 10 minutes, I think. So um, I just really have enjoyed kind of playing with some of my things, getting some quotes printed out, and kind of... Um, playing around with those, and it's just been really nice to just kind of play play with the new products and just be crafty, but not for too long. So I'm going to cover this in pop dots, just absolutely cover it, and then that's pretty much going to wrap it up. So I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content soon. And thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys again really, really soon. Thanks, and have a great day, guys.